The agency was just added into GTA Online with the Dr. Dre contract DLC. And not gonna lie, it is pretty confusing. Ever since this update came out, I've been trying to figure out what the best way to use this and what the best way to make money with the agency is. So I'm here to help and let you know everything you need to know. If this video helps you out, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this. And just before we jump in, to celebrate the channel hitting 1 million subscribers, we've just launched a limited time heist hoodie. It's only available to pre-order for the next two weeks and then you're never gonna be able to get it again. And my favorite part about the hoodie is actually what's inside the hood. Inside the hood, we've got a heist inspired design. The videos I've made on heists are some of the most successful on the channel and that's really what's contributed to helping you find my channel. So to pay homage to that, we've got that heist inspired design in there. Again, it's only available for two weeks. So if you wanna pre-order that, link is in the description below and in the pinned comments. And now let's get into this agency guide. The first thing you need to know is how much these agencies actually cost. The cheapest one is in Little Seoul for 2.01 million, and the most expensive is in Haywick for 2.83 million. I've played through the entire Dr. Dre contract a few times, and I've done all of the missions that the agency helps you start up. And my advice to you is location actually doesn't really matter. All of these are in a pretty good location. The time saved on any given location will only really be saving you like a couple of seconds each time. So really, this doesn't matter. Just pick the one you like the most. If you want to flex that you have the most expensive one, go with Haywick. If you're broke, just go for Little Seoul. Or if you just like the look of the Vespucci Canals or Rockford Hills ones, just go for those ones. Again, it really doesn't matter. There's a lot of businesses in G GTA Online where the location is super important for a bunch of reasons, but this just isn't one of them. Just get the one that you think is best for you. Let's talk about the upgrades. Upgrades, people. Upgrades. The first three here are all completely cosmetic. The art, the wallpaper, and the highlight. Upgrading these will help you in absolutely no way. These are all completely for the looks. Again, if you're extremely rich, then you want to blow a bit of money here to make it look a little nicer, go for it. But otherwise, don't worry. Once we get down to the armory, things start to get interesting. It's not very often that I would recommend a $720,000 optional upgrade to a property, but this is actually going to be one of those really rare situations. Of course, if you don't have the money for it right away, that's not a big problem, but if you do have the money available, I recommend getting this. If you don't know what the armory is, essentially it's your own private ammunition. So once you have an armory in your agency, you're never going to need to go to ammunition again. Not only that, but you also get a discount on the weapons, the ammo, everything you buy in your armory as opposed to an ammunition. So in the long run, you could actually save money with this. But the best part about having an armory right there in one of your properties is actually something you might not have thought about, and that's the fact that you can get armor right there. Surprisingly enough, there has never been a property in GTA Online where you can get armor. There's been a bunch of properties where you can refill your snacks, pretty much all of them actually, but never have we been able to get armor before. So this is a huge bonus. Once you get stuck into the Dr. Dre contract setup missions and finales with those ones, a lot of the enemies in there are gonna take a big chunk of your health out. So being able to get armor between every mission if you need to is gonna save you so much time in the long run. Moving down, we've got accommodation for $275,000. This is gonna let you be able to spawn here. Just like the armory, this is actually something I would recommend you get. And then finally, this is going to sound really out of character for me. We've got a vehicle workshop that's $800,000. And if you've got the money laying around, I actually recommend you get this as well. The main reason for that is this vehicle workshop isn't like other ones in the game. This gives you a very specific and extremely useful upgrade that you can put on a bunch of the vehicles that were added in this update. Four of the new vehicles, or at least at launch, there could be more in the future, but for right now, as I'm making this video, four of the new vehicles that were launched with this update, when you customize them in this vehicle workshop, they give you the ability to add what's called Imani Tech. Imani is the hacker that works in your agency, and through this workshop, she's able to put on two new abilities. The first one allows you to remotely control your personal vehicle, which is something we've only actually had for like the RC Bandito and RC Invade and Persuade mini tank. That upgrade is kind of just for fun, to be honest. But the Imani Tech also gives you an option to add a missile lock-on jammer. What that means is no one in any vehicle will be able to lock onto your personal vehicle while you're driving it. This is absolutely one of the best anti-Oppressor Mark II updates we've ever had to the game. 
So again, all three of these upgrades, the Armory, Accommodation, and Vehicle Workshop, if you have the money, I would recommend them. If you don't have the money right now, I would save up for them and get them when you can. Let's talk about how to actually make money with the agency. And there's four different ways that you can do that. First off, and the most obvious, is by completing the Dr. Dre contract. The second and slightly less obvious one is by completing security contracts. The third one, and even less obvious, is through payphone hits that Franklin will let you do. And then the final one is through the safe that's in your office. So let's start off with the Dr. Dre contract. Once you complete this, this is going to give you a flat $1 million, but by completing all of the setups, that's going to give you about an extra $100,000. So all up about $1.1 million per contract. The first time through, this is going to take you probably a few hours because you have to wait between missions for some reason. But if you choose to replay it after that, from my experience, it'll normally take around an hour and a half to two hours. Now that I said that, your mind probably said one thing. Well, this isn't as good as Kaya Perico, and yet you're right. This really isn't the best way to make money in the game. With that said though, I actually do think this is a slightly better way to make money than the tuners missions that were added earlier this year. And you could probably say this is maybe the third best way to make money in the game right behind Kaya Perico and the casino heist. But overall for everyone in terms of money per hour, I think this might be a little bit of a disappointment. With that said though, I think this is worth buying just to play through the contract and the story once because it is pretty enjoyable your first time through. The next way to make money with the agency is through security contracts. And this is sort of where it starts to get a bit more complicated. There's a bunch of different security contracts that you can complete. You've got rescue operation, liquidize assets, vehicle recovery, asset recovery, asset protection, and gang eliminations. My advice to you on which ones you should complete is really any of them except the asset protection because no matter what that is going to take you exactly 10 minutes you're going to need to defend an area or something for 10 minutes all of the other security contracts you can quite comfortably complete in well under 10 minutes and with a gang elimination you can probably complete that in under three minutes with an oppressor mark two post recording tgg here i forgot to say as well the uh, asset recovery or the recover valuables one is kind of hit or miss as well you can get some good ones that take like three minutes, but there's also one that can take about 10 minutes as well, but still probably better than asset protection. So how much money can you make from these? Well, that's not as simple as it seems because there's actually three different levels of difficulty for these ones that will pay you a different amount of money. The easiest difficulty is professional. Next up is specialist, and then you've got specialist plus. For most professional contracts, I normally find myself earning around 32 to low $40,000 range for specialist contracts, it's normally around 40 to 55-ish thousand, and the specialist plus is normally above $60,000. This is a part of the agency that I actually think is getting slept on by a lot of the community as just a bad way to make money, but it's actually a pretty decent way to make money. The level of difficulty is random, but if you can get a specialist plus contract that pays you over $60,000 for something you can do in like three minutes, that's pretty good money. Is it Kaya Perico highest level of money? No, but for example, if you're trying to grind out money, in between your Kaya Perico heists, you have a cooldown, this wouldn't be a bad thing to do in between Kaya Perico heists. Speaking of something you can do in between Kaya Perico heists, we've actually got the next part of the business, or the next way to make money, and that's Franklin Payphone Assassinations. For anyone who's played the GTA 5 story, you would know that Lester gave Franklin payphone assassinations. Now Franklin is giving them to us. This isn't something you're actually going to unlock until after you complete the Dr. Dre contract. So a lot of people probably don't even know what this is. But once you're able to do these, you can actually just request one whenever you want by calling Franklin. But just note there is a 20 minute cooldown between these. And kind of similar to the security contracts, these pay pretty good money for not much work. Once you accept one of these assassination missions, if you just complete it, you're going to get $15,000. But if you complete it by doing what Franklin tells you to do, you're going to get an additional $70,000. So a total of $85,000. To complete the bonus task, all you need to do is just eliminate the target in the specific way that the game tells you to do it. That could be something like driving them into the ocean, or it could be something like running them over with a golf cart. Either way, you complete that, you're going to get that bonus $70,000. 
and kind of just like the security contract again this is something that can be completed in like three to five minutes so getting $85,000 in just a few minutes is pretty decent money in the long run if I'm grinding money I can definitely see myself doing both a security contract and a Franklin assassination mission in between my Kaya Perico heists Moving on to the fourth and final and kind of the most simple way to make money with this property is that it's just the safe in your office and you're going to get $250 a day, which is every 48 minutes in game. And uh, to be honest, that's not much money, but I guess if you were playing the game for like over a stretch of, you know, a few months that would fill up and you'd get a fair bit of money. But for the most part, this isn't really a great way to make money. Before we wrap the video up as well, just a little bonus tip. There's two locations where you can get snacks in your agency. So in between the missions that you're grinding out, definitely make sure to refill these for free when you can. The first one is upstairs, just outside the armory actually. And the second one is as you walk into the agency at the front. So I think that pretty much sums it up. That's the agency. I think it's a pretty cool addition to the game. I definitely think the Dr. Dre contract is a really good addition to the game, even though it doesn't make you that much money. It definitely doesn't have the same replayability as something like a heist where you can come at it from, you know, a bunch of different approaches. But the first few times through, I think this is something that's pretty fun and good for world building and storytelling going forward. But we'll wrap the video up there. If you enjoyed, again, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this. If you're looking to pre-order that 1 million subscriber hoodie, link again is in the description below. If you do, tag me on Twitter with a copy of your receipt and uh, I'll make sure to like it as an additional thank you. So we'll wrap it up there. Hope you're all staying safe and I'll see you in the next video. Boys.